I, I, I gotta stay in the house and play Xbox all day. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna get my nut. <laughs> Are you sick. touching the controller? Because well, yeah, they, well now you now you get nut too. nut electricity. In yeah, you. that's <laughs> that's how we got the first Black Spider Man. <laughs> right? You think Miles Morales was the first? No. <laughs> It was, it was Anthony Jenkins. Anthony, 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 Anthony Jenkins playing the first with. <laughs> and he was on house arrest, so it was really only four blocks in Chicago affected by his crime fighting. But, right, he was, he was just circling one building, being like, "I'll beat your ass! I'll beat your ass, nigga!" <laughs> Leave that lady alone, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> the government growing babies. Microchips in your anus. All koala bears are racist. The ozone layer owes me money. Martians invented turkey stuffing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Give me a toot toot. Give me a beep, beep, we are my <laughs> mama told me. The podcast where we dive deep, deep into the pockets of black conspiracy theories. And we work to prove the fact that black black people have questionable tastes in alcohol is because our taste in regular food is so damn high. Our food is delicious. We don't know how to drink that poison. I would drink straight whiskey if my mom made tuna casserole as well. I am wow. David Bory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm Langston Carmen, and and I see where you're going. I you get yeah, it? that feels you get like it? it has some legitimacy to it. It feels right. It feels right. Like we we just know quality too much that this sort of like intentional poison all tastes the same to we, us. We We're can't. Like, you can't. You can't fix it up or put enough purple on it to make us love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I love a colorful drink. And black people do got to get back to drinking purple drinks. I feel like we're letting the purple industry <laughs> die. Do you know what I mean? We're letting mm-hmm. down big purple. Yeah. <laughs> There's, we, we, we're not drinking Nouveau anymore. You know what I mean? Like, no. what the fuck are we? Get Come on. on. Purple. Nouveau was crazy. That was wild. We had, had a wild bubbles? time. I was confused. We were drinking, <laughs> we, we were drinking hypnotic and, and hypnotic. Wine Hennessy. Shit. Hey, hey, hey! Don't don't <laughs> say passion. we were drinking hypnotic. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot that uh, Amber, you <laughs> you end every evening with a tall glass of hypnotic. And I start it with a margarita. That's what I'm talking about. We need to go back to co- all the Alizés. Mm. Oh my Mist? God! Remember right. Alizé? Oh, I don't oh. know. I'll never forget. He yeah. was my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are already hearing at least one of our guests today, Lacey. You didn't you didn't have a lot to say about the the hypnotic Alize. She's not a good drinker. Phase. I oh, just started okay. drinking two days ago. For no, I'm just joking. Oh no! <laughs> oh wow! I didn't have my first Fuck. drink till I was 33. Well, Whoa. this writer's strike really hits you hard, huh? This is uh, <laughs> you're really starting to feel it early, and now huh? I got my wine in my Darth Vader mug, so I'm good to go. <laughs> I like that you immediately passed all the stages and you just like, now I drink it in a mug in the house. In a mug in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them fancy glasses. Yeah, no, no, no. That's me. usually not a day two discovery. So I, I oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going crazy. But our guests today, uh, they're, they're so funny. They're so talented. We're happy to have them. Uh, you know them from their brand new podcast, The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show. You also know them yes. from their book, uh, You'll Never Believe What Happened to Lacey, Crazy Stories About Racism. They they are so funny, so talented. Uh, give it up for Amber Ruffin and Lacey Lamar. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. <laughs> Normally we would have a drop there I'm and sorry. it wouldn't we feel like air horns. We could do air horns. We're gonna Okay. Yeah. More fire. I'm gonna enter the room from now on. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I would love is a loan of. <laughs> Ladies, you came to us with a conspiracy theory yes. that uh, that that frankly, 
I thought we had covered. And and I don't mean that in a in a derogatory mean way, but but on this show, we've accused quite a few companies of belonging to the KKK. This is not yeah. it's not not a thing that has sort of come up. But I was surprised once we did the actual research that we haven't talked about this specific company. But you said my mama told me. Church's chicken is secretly owned by the KKK. That's right. That's right. It's not a secret. Tell us Everybody everything knows. you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> that the KKK pays, is back there frying up their chicken clothes. <laughs> and sprinkling just a little bit of whatever to make black men sterile. Everybody knows that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that conspiracy has two parts. One, that KKK <laughs> owns Church's Chicken. Yes. And frankly, good for Which them because that shit was delicious. And then, <laughs> oh, oh then, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, we don't get to speed past. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, going right. hard for Church's Chicken. <laughs> no, give them, their, give them their flowers. Amber, tell them where we are from. <laughs> We're from Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, we can walk uh, to the Church's Fried Chicken. We can walk oh, to Church's. Yeah. Okay. okay. You think we got Nene's Chicken Shack in Omaha, Nebraska? We don't <laughs> got <laughs> anything like that. We had churches. We were thrilled to have it. Yes. Okay. All right. That, yeah. This is making way more sense now. It was now. born, yeah. it was born out of necessity as opposed to... That's right. Yeah. Right. Because yes. you know yes. what I like in Omaha? I, mean, I, like, uh, I, like, I like California tacos out there. Okay. You guys All right. Go, no? Okay. Mm-hmm. No, All right. Well, well you, you've yeah, made a fool of yourself, David. How <laughs> <laughs> dare you share with us your feelings Talk about him later? Well, nobody come to Omaha for California tacos. <laughs> it's just, I like. It's yeah. good. They got good. You, you they really got, thought they were gonna like, you know, rally that bad boy back? Yeah. No, I was hoping. I was hoping to really hit it off with some local, yeah. local, local talk. They were like, man, this guy's cool. He yeah. just gets it. And He's it turns out, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you fucking nothing. <laughs> Players fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and women, this pimps too now. So yeah. I, I, I think that makes a lot more sense that this is this is a a move of necessity to be passionate about church, church's yeah. chicken rather yeah. than than one of like I sought this out they are better than the competition. Yeah, cuz I don't know that there was even a KFC around. It was Damn. church's end of list. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> it yeah, was, so you got to go where you got to go. Yeah. Do you guys did you guys have Safeway chicken? We did no, have I, Safeway. I, we did have a Safeway. We did? Amber, yes, oh, we Amber I'm, I'm 5 years older than Amber, but yeah, we had Safeway, Hinky Dinky. All of that, but no, it was churches because that was just something new you could drive through. Yeah, that's fancy. Yeah. That's you either fancy. ate your chicken at home, your mama made the chicken, or yeah. mm. you went you went out and got that chicken. Yeah, mm. and so Amber, you were you were continuing. You were saying there was a second part of this conspiracy beyond just churches being owned by the KKK that. I, I believe you were getting into mm-hmm. the sterility of it all. Yeah, that, that church's chicken, because it was owned by the KKK, was putting something in their chicken that sterilized black men. Now, why did the conspiracy fall this way? Yeah, it, <laughs> uh, like, it's a, do you it's know a how many conspiracies question. we deal with <laughs> that come back to, like, us being uh, sterilized? It's like, yeah. at this point, it's literally one out of three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but if you check the numbers, it always comes back to like, and then the men's have bad nut. Yeah, the men, <laughs> the men are, the men's nut is being tainted. The men are losing their nuts. Yeah, it's, it's always nuts aren't as strong as they were in men's previous nuts. generations. I'm glad it's y'all, yeah. not us. But it, but <laughs> it, that's funny because it's black women who were. Literally sterilized by the government hospital. Oh no, shit. for sure it and is. Then uh... men, free, <laughs> free dogs after your shit. I smell a conspiracy on top of a conspiracy right now. Is mm. what you're talking, right? Mm. Yeah. It, it 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 is yeah. worth noting that literally the the <laughs> birth of gynecology was born off of sterilizing black, black women. Black women. Yeah. And yeah, yeah we're like, man, they really have to get yeah. this. They're trying, they're trying to get this done. <laughs> I can't I can't go anywhere. I can't go to I, can't go I can't buy a I can't buy a soda. 
I can't sit on an electrical box. Everything I do, they're trying to take my precious nut. My fucking nuts are at risk. Okay, so so let's talk about this conspiracy. It sounds, Lacey, like you are immediately on board with this theory that churches is doing this to the black men's nuts. <laughs> no, not at I mean, when you're younger, that was like a million years. You you were you were in line with everybody else. Yeah, you were like, this is absolutely true. And small note, Amber knows this about me. They're gonna take my black car right here, right now. I wasn't a big chicken eater. I'm oh, still not I know. Like at yeah. night time? <laughs> <laughs> no. So I would fake eat chicken though in front of black people because you ain't gonna talk about me. I believe like, this ticket is good. Wow. <laughs> are you not a meat? you are fully are you, aware? Are you not a meat person? Is that it? No, I like... just don't care. It's the oil. It's that I got a whisper. I don't care about fried chicken. Can your listeners hear me? <laughs> wow. No, they. I, yeah, I think they hear they, me. Still picking. Send it up all on hate mic. mail to Amber. It's <laughs> something about is, the grease. This is, this I is, can't. That's fine because I believe in the don't power judge. of God's bird. How do you feel? <laughs> About just mm. like a roasted chicken. I, no, no chicken at all. A, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't care about chicken at all. What about like a sous vide? What if I get a sous vide you, and ooh, then I get the most I tender breast this, I got a sous vide. Possible. I got a sous vide now. You got a sous vide um, some chicken. I got a sous vide. Uh, that's going to change my life. It, is listen, it gonna, wait, how about this? I'll ask you a question. Chefs. Is it going to taste like chicken? <laughs> <laughs> so what, like that's, that's blood, literally blood. my favorite part of it about it what about not even <laughs> thighs not even like a with, with the crispy thighs in the oven roast no boobs no thighs nothing yeah, no i don't like it okay um, let, let's unpack this a little bit because you like you, beef better this is the conspiracy steak yeah, you're not a vegetarian. Absolutely so. not. I will bite you right now. If uh, <laughs> all right, if we stuck all on right. an island, Langston. I'm gonna say I'm you look delicious. I'm looking for a reason man. to feel I, alive look, again. So <laughs> you look delicious. Don't get stuck with me somewhere because I'm going to eat whatever around. As someone who also, it. as someone who would also eat Langston first, I appreciate this statement. Let's all eat Langston, <laughs> guys. No, no, guys. Way. I'll be real. I'm honored, <laughs> Dave. I'm gonna I, save you for dessert. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's what I was you worried about. Too, but that's I'm gonna save your ass about. for dessert. It's heavily seasoned too. I, mm, 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 I'm so it hungry. I know. It is. <laughs> Help her. So where did this go? Where did this so you are not a vegetarian. Oh, this is going exactly where the show goes. Yeah, every don't week. worry. Don't, worry. don't doubt for a not. second. Absolutely, not. I'm not a vegetarian. And so, so your go-to meat would would steak. be what steak, steak. all day steak. Wow, but that you, can't, you can't steak have it all the time. Okay, David, don't tell me what to do. Do I tell you what to do? <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get passionate about no, no, Don't tell okay, me what okay. to do, David. What's your favorite cut of steak? I work out. What's, your... What's my favorite? <laughs> I work out, man. Work out. Stay in the gym. Stay but in wait, the gym. Wait, this is Stay true. Ready. Lacey is a bodybuilder. I do. That's oh. real. Oh, yeah. so is this a protein yeah. situation? A competition. Absolutely not, because they push for you to eat tons of chicken mm-hmm. when you're training for a and show. And you're like, no Otherwise, way. Chicken's like a leaner meat, right? <sighs> yeah, than the, yes, than the perfect steak meat. Everybody is sitting there after their workout eating these chicken breasts, and I'm like, It's God's I can't. bird, they say. And I think that made it even worse for me doing so many shows, and that's like the go-to chicken. I mean, I will eat it. I don't want to eat it, but I will. So I've, I've OD'd on the chicken. And so even with that, because this is fascinating now, you're not a chicken person, but it sounds like you still aren't willing to buy into this specific conspiracy no, that the chicken is tainted. I do not buy into that. I do not buy the and And what? Popeye's bought Church's Fried Chicken. So now it's Popeye's. Yeah, it is Popeye's now. Mm. And, and they're they're offshoot. And, and we will talk a bit about this more in the research. Their okay. offshoot is Texas mm. fried chicken. Now they changed the name that of mean? churches. Does that mean it's not as good? No, but I feel now I feel like it might be the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm back on the train. It's all about a KKK. Did you say Texas fried chicken? Mm, Texas fried Texas. chicken is, is, is what Texas churches has chicken. become. Never mind. Put me on. Of all that. the states that I would want, I would. Right. I would, mm. Texas is a barbecue place. Right. Yeah. I'm not saying they don't fry chicken. I'm Look, just now saying. Now we mad. Amber, wh- where do you fall in this? Are you similar? Are you with your sister in this? Or are you, where are you? I do not believe this conspiracy. I certainly see how, like, okay, them poisoning chicken to sterilize black men. Okay, I think that is very, very far. (laughs) The KKK 
owning something <laughs> that profited off of black people that, you know, although it wasn't sterilizing them, was bad for their health. Mm-hmm, that, I mm-hmm. mean, that's got legs. That's not okay. nothing. <laughs> got that's chicken not legs. Right. Which it's are delicious. delicious chicken chicken legs. Legs. That is the best part. If I do have to eat anything, it is the chicken legs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's start there. <laughs> baby steps. You know, baby I feel steps. Like, I feel like y'all just reached across the aisle like uh, Republicans yeah. and Democrats. Yeah. You know this what I mean? is like that Crips and Bloods picnic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tie those bandanas together. I'm yeah. <laughs> I got to chew. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. No, you're no, you're a okay. crib now, and and no. next time we'll make sure to add that to the credits when we interview yeah. you. Career? No, I'm doing <laughs> Lacey said Everybody that. Not blue me. rag. Yeah. No, I have one. Uh, so so you all are not bought into this. When did you first hear it, or or from whom did you first hear this conspiracy theory? When Church's Fried Chicken rolled up in Omaha, which had to be in the '80s sometime, right? Yeah. 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 And you said it was just the one. It was just one church in Omaha. I don't I, think there was a second one. I don't think there was a second one. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like a, like a second shooter almost. <laughs> <laughs> like, there were too never, many. Didn't churches just come back to Omaha? It's been gone for years and years and years. I think it just came back and people are cracking up about that. Where? Uh, hold on. Look, everybody. Talk amongst yourselves. No. I, okay. I also want to oh, know where Lord. was it located. Oh Lord! It came back. Churches is out of the way. They're always out Amber, of the way. It came back to the whitest of white, white, white neighborhoods, and now it's what? called Churches Texas Chicken, a hundred and sixty eighth. And who? Nobody gives. It a must taste terrible. Yeah. Damn. Because black people live on thirtieth, so I'm just letting you know oh, where hundred sixty eighth is. We don't. That's hundred thirty blocks out there. away. Ain't oh, nobody yeah, going out there. Walk to work. Yeah. Ain't yeah. nobody. I don't yeah. even go out there. You get arrested. Last time I was out there, got pulled over. Right? I don't. I don't go past. You know, try to seventy something. I don't try to go past that. So. And for our eight Omaha listeners, they are right. Uh, they mad. Intrigued. <laughs> they are related to us. <laughs> they like, yeah, girl. You tell them about the streets in Omaha. <laughs> they all sit together though, but they like, bam, bam, bam. Somebody finally fucking said it. They <laughs> get it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Travel on in blocks. They get it. They get it. Yeah. I feel like Belly did you guys dirty. You got a bad rap from Belly. Mm. I'm trying to. I'm, I, I don't think that was fair what they did to you. Not guys. a great movie. Not a great no. movie. I'm sorry. I, okay. Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> but the point is that I didn't like what they did with that character. I think what you're, you're hearing Bori say is it's a perfect film except for that one small. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh I'm sorry, boy. You know what? It it's, was nice. It's Citizen <laughs> Kane and it's Belly. Those are the two <laughs> triumphs of cinema. <laughs> I mean, I guess Breathless is okay, but I don't like that French shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you're not bought in on this conspiracy theory. You hear it very young. Were you, a, were you a believer early? Did you at any point believe in this? Or do you think that, that there were people around you, certainly, who believed in it? Or was this just a silly game for everybody? No, I 100% believed in it, and my friends believed in it, too. Yeah. Damn. Did they continue to eat there? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, wow. They That's talked what about we're finding. it as they were chomping down. That's what yeah. we're finding with a lot of these nut murdering conspiracies. It's like it didn't curb usage as much as you would think. No, no. You're no. Like, I guess, like a, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was still even. It. it was still even. I can't believe they would it's let terrible. them do this to us. <laughs> didn't stop anybody. No, anybody it can't. Else? It it's no. unfor. Do you think that there's any chance of like any version of these conspiracy theories stopping somebody? What would it take for us to finally put our foot down and say, "Hey, enough is enough. This is this is truly wrong." Like I remember when H and M bugged out and like we're calling little niggas monkeys and shit. That was there- a crazy one. That was wild, and we for a while were like, "Hey, we don't fuck with H and M no more." But like. 
N- yes, we do. Do you know what I mean? Like everybody <laughs> just kept kind of doing the same thing. So what would it take for us to finally do I it? I can't believe that you said that. What, I remember that H&M shit as like an hour of the day. Yeah. And then it, it, it evaporated from my mind. Yeah. And then I went out and bought a million dollars in H&M shit. Yeah, no, everybody, garbage. Everybody you know went how much back, Chick-fil-A maybe? I've had? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I never had Chick-fil-A in my entire life. Lived in L.A., but, you know, by the time Chick-fil-A was near me, it was after they, mm-hmm. uh, you know, everyone found out they were homophobic. You never, yeah, so you never got to come to it pure. never, ever had it until Damn. last week. We were outside protesting because of the writer strike. We we're protesting um, outside of the view, uh, striking uh, outside, <laughs> demonstrating. Let's go demonstrating outside the view. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg sent Chick Fil A chicken sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> and we were like, "Oh wow, that's so diabolical, conflicted." Damn. <laughs> but that was the first time I ever took a bite. I was starving. That, I was going to die. I took and, a bite of that and, sandwich hey, and was like, "This is nice. why." Finally, it's, it makes sense. That shit was so good. good. It's a it's so premium good. sandwich. It's, so yeah. good. it's really, really I've good. I've never Don't do it. eaten at Chick-fil-A. Oh, no, it's a, it, listen, Amber's house. It's, <laughs> it's chicken. <laughs> I've never eaten at Chick-fil-A. And there's, there's, uh, there's a few here. Why would I do that? If guys? there's a devil's meat, Chick-fil-A chicken feels like it's, it, it's up it's there nice. in the devil's it's meat it. world. But fuck, man, it's, it's okay. So it's I have a good. question: What's better, yeah. the Chick Fil A or that pop, that hot Popeyes chicken sandwich that people were like killing, literally killing each other for? What's yeah, that? They were killing. You, they were killing each other over chicken. I, I, I saw a video of a woman just scratching up her BMW to get around the crowd to like squeeze in, and her car was getting crushed, and she just wanted to get some chicken sandwiches. Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. So what's better, Chick Fil A or the? Or the Popeye's hot chicken. Sandwich. I mean, the Popeye's hot culture. There was a whole culture around it. You remember that we we were inside. We didn't know what was going on with this virus. <laughs> it hypnotized it was, you. It, it was like there's a lot going on. Your question almost feels like the asking, like, what's a better vacation between uh, Jamaica and Saint Lucia? It's exactly. Like, I, Either I, way, I, I'm gonna get my groove back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna eat it. I was gonna get that chicken sandwich once I was at work. A white coworker left. She goes, you want the chicken sandwich? I was like, yeah. So everybody's talking about this chicken sandwich. She brings me back the plain chicken sandwich, like the one that's mm. not hot. And she eats, she takes the hot one. And I said, did you just take the hot one? And she said, yes. Yeah. I, I don't want to try this. I said, you never bring a person, a black person, a chicken sandwich that don't got no spice on it. Yeah, so I never tried it. Why don't you it. respect me? I was yeah, so that's... upset. Yeah. Uh, she she could have spit in it and and showed more respect to you yeah. than, than what she did. It's crazy and we don't know that she like did. That. She, gave, she goes, well, I didn't know that you, I didn't know if you would want the spicy one or not. Oof. And that says a lot about what she thinks of your character. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so trash. <laughs> Meanwhile, will this work? Lacey, reach out your right hand and show what you've been eating. Oh, I don't oh, got it right? up here oh. no more. We I imagine just spent an hour. This girl was eating the biggest bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Okay. The whole fucking thing. She I said, "I'm gonna stop, guys." I'm like, "I'm not an idiot. I know when to stop. I can stop at any time. I can quit you know, anytime." That bag is gone. You know what's what's interesting is now that you've you've mentioned it, her fingertips are slightly pink. <laughs> and, like, uh... This is the, this is my napkin that I kept rubbing my fingers on. Yeah, they're pink. Yeah, uh, yeah she, she, she's been. Pinky. I'm ashamed. But not really. She's been They're stained delicious. like when you steal stuff from H&M. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the ink package explodes. Yeah, that's the bodega mm. ink package is all. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So neither of you are particularly bought in on this. Uh, I wish but we you, were. You at one point did believe in, in the potential of this being real. I guess the final question I have before we go to break is, is what do you think can be done to uh to calm the minds of those that still do believe in this how how can we how can we make them feel okay with churches texas whatever it is chicken now you want us to answer this right now you can't convince uncle cletus you can't convince him <laughs> go ahead go convince cockeyed uncle cletus that he 
can't even. Come on now. He's not. You can't. Once you're set in oh. your ways, come on now. You know you can't do it. You got to get them while I they're young. I think that <laughs> you can convince them that it's not true by showing them uh, other conspiracies that are. Like, oh. look, it's fun to get all worked up about nonsense, but there's like real things you can get worked up about. No, that's just going to double down. They're just going to be like, see, now that's real too. Uncle Cletus, yeah. you know, Amber, you can't convince Uncle Cletus. Why are you well, doing I'm this? Not, you can't. Because he gives me $10 every year for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. That'll add up. I will say I, I like your your ambition inside of this, that, that to get rid of a bad conspiracy theory, you offer them up a more legitimate one. My fear, however, is that uh, it feels like niggas just, col- <laughs> they're just going to connect the red string. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not going to eliminate, they're not putting mm-hmm. the picture on top of the old picture as much as mm-hmm. creating a web of lies yes. that have uh <laughs> <laughs> that will mm-hmm. sustain them for another 13 to, to 48 years depending yeah. on their age yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can't. Bori, where are you with all of this let's before we go to break weigh in are you are you a buyer are you a seller what are you doing i'm not a, i'm not a buyer but what I'm more curious about is where do all these? Why do we think the KKK secretly owns so much shit? I don't know. Mm. Oh, I don't know. That's, That's not a good like, question. And it's never like we never are like, oh man, they're giant like property holders in all of Georgia or someplace. It's always like they must own this shit that we buy. Did you know the KKK has a do rag company? Like, no, I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that they're like. I don't think they're invested in damaging us in the way of starting I think it's an exclusionary situation. I don't think they're out here starting businesses to take us down. Yeah, I don't think the uh the KKK is currently thriving in the way that we think they are. You know what I mean? They're not like I don't think running. they are. I think they're no. losers. Yeah, and I think financially they also are losing pretty hard. Like I don't I, I if I'm remembering correctly, and maybe we'll look this up over break, there was like a one point well, where an article came out or or some sort of like ad came out from the KKK being like we desperately need membership because we are essentially going defunct. We are a dying brand and and we we need your help. I don't think that they are the major society of the good old boys network even. If that's mm. what we're talking about, I bet you there's other groups that are far bigger and wealthier. I, I think I think it's like a I think it's like a fringe broke ass. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they're like RC Cola in white yeah, supremacy. Yeah, exactly. I don't it's think so funny because <laughs> when you were young, like you thought, oh yeah, these old rich white men. These motherfuckers aren't rich. They never were. No. It's just someone okay. with. <laughs> Amber, exactly. but you know that there is. We do have a KKK headquarters here in Lincoln, Nebraska, like right outside. Well, of Omaha. Yeah, we all knew that. Well, we, yeah, we got I, our I big. Presume that. We got our big headquarters. <laughs> and when our high school tried to have um, introduce a Black History class, they sent us letters. <laughs> they sent oh, but did they even? The KKK sent you? It did. They did. That is, that wow. is a true thing. That's a real. But thing. did they even have kids at the school, or was it just like a bunch of broke? No, dudes, they like, were. Hey, I'm There's gonna... some fools that were trying to scare the school into not teaching kids about black history. If you don't, if you don't, Fuck if yeah. you if you don't stop teaching black history, we're gonna shut down this whole grease monkey. Nobody but this down. is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing, and I don't know if it's anywhere else. But there was this like uh, Republican group here in Omaha, and I, I literally had a man have a whole conversation with me, telling me how I should not support. Black Lives Matter. And he said, well, you know who. Mm. And so they study us. They study the shit that we say. He said, now you know who, who's behind Black Lives Matter. It's the KKK. And I was Whoa. like. They tried to do a, a, yeah, so a KKK like, what? person tried to do a mind trick right? Right. on you to be like, hey, this is why your thing is bad because of me. And when I tell you, I was at an event and I was trapped next to a white yeah. man for like 45 minutes. He was sitting next to me and he would not stop talking about that. Finally, I said, you are Fuck. so funny. I should have been recording you the whole time. Nobody's listening to you. But yeah, Damn. it's a whole thing. That, oof. That's that's a cool trick. I'm a. Yeah. We got to figure out a way to flip we that. Should. We got to yeah. try. Right. We should do some. What can we ruin for white people by being like, you know, you niggas know own. Study uh, and they had to do about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. They had to be of us to do all that. They did a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> you know, a black man owns uh, Kashi cereal, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, black men invented having your toes out in public. <laughs> That's why we don't do it anymore. We don't want you to uh, tell. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more Amber, more Lacey, and more, more My Mama Told Me. We are coming back to My Mama Told Me. <laughs> M is for my mama. Oh. M is for Oh, that's my mom. <laughs> oh. oh, that's my mom. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're still talking. I guess. I don't know. (laughs) We're in there. We're We're in there. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Uh, We're still talking about the possibility that Church's Chicken is secretly owned by the KKK and the KKK is doing everything they can to sterilize black men with this delicious chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did a little bit of research on the conspiracy theory that I would love to to throw your way. And, and again, some of this you may already know, some of it, some of it may be surprising, but frankly, none of it is necessarily true. So don't trust me. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> um, the the logic, as you mentioned, behind the conspiracy theory is sterilization of black men. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no mention of women in any of the articles that I read. Church's mm-hmm. Chicken apparently was started by uh, in San Antonio in 1952 by a man named George Church. That's the 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 reason, the logic behind naming it Church's Chicken, right? And then in 1965, and this is something I discovered and was very surprised by. Uh, it, it starts in Texas. It's this mom and pop shop. Then it expands across Texas and then eventually the rest of the country. And then in 1965, George Church Jr., George Church's son, takes over the company and then takes it public, which means that mm-hmm. there was a point where you could buy stock mm-hmm. in Church's chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which I, I don't know how y'all feel. Stuff. That's that's pretty impressive. Who bought the stock? <laughs> it was the Bitcoin of its day. <laughs> I pray to someday meet a man who bought stock in Church's Chicken. So Church's then it apparently becomes this publicly traded company. And even the most surprising thing, because I tried to look up more things about George Church, and the only thing that the additional piece of information that I learned from his Wikipedia page is that before George Church made this Church's chicken chain, he actually was in the business of selling incubators. Incubators were apparently the his former... Life as a as a fucking uh, businessman before he started making mm. nigga chicken. So, <laughs> so he started ma- he started up with the incubators and then was yep. like, the, "This is a lot of eggs that are hatching." Yeah, right. yeah, I think he was, <laughs> <pitted. laughs> he was like, "What am I doing with all these loose chickens?" Yeah, yeah. chop, chop, chop. So, I'm, so, create, so. I'm creating sense. my own project. Product. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. So that none of that uh makes you at all nervous. Anybody. Uh that does you, nothing to me left or right. Okay. No. As far as like what put me on or off the horse, that doesn't really I, I don't really feel any kind of way about that. Okay. I want to know who I've, bought the stock though. I wanna know. Right. <laughs> when you so said that, who I was bought like, the stock mm-hmm. is is a big question. Who because got it? Uh, we've never seen anybody get rich from church. You know what I mean? I well, know they, people they've who kept get, it quiet. They've kept, they kept it quiet. But guys, we're oh. also acting like white men don't eat church's fried chicken. <laughs> I'd say that's the majority. True. Yeah. I'll wait, be wait, honest, I've never seen it. Because they would be it. sterile too. You said you've never seen it. Come to Omaha. I, you go see a line. I, <laughs> the, the only church's chicken, uh, <laughs> church's chicken that, that we had two of them in my neighborhood, uh, one of which was 
on like sort of like the the border of Chicago. I, I'm from a suburb that borders Chicago, but specifically the West Side, Austin, the Austin neighborhood, which is a, a a almost entirely black neighborhood on the West Side of Chicago. And so that was the churches. So I only saw black people in there. And then the other churches that we live by is where my mom's current house is, which is in Maywood. And that church is, is all black too. So I've truly never seen a white person eating church's chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, they got one way deep in Aurora out here that's like, and then they got one off the feds, which I guess there's not even that many black people anymore. But yeah, I've seen a lot of white people eat church's, eat church's chicken. Me too. Me too. Oh, so okay. unless, well, unless they have an amazing scientist that can only affect the I'm black. also, I hate to be this guy, as far as fast, fast, fast food fried chicken, churches, churches at the bottom for me. Yeah, it's pretty low on my end. I, I need I KFC know. before churches. Yeah, I, I, I'll i take the wet meat that KFC yeah, is serving Yeah, whatever that up. is. <laughs> wet meat? I mean, well, what's yeah. going on here? It's pretty wet. It's yeah. it's what? like it's it's like they fry it and then dip it afterwards and then they give it to you and you're like why, why is it's it like this crazy and then they and you can it's like it's really got, it's original so recipe used to be interesting texture now it's like that's ew. true I have noticed that it's gone bad and they try to act bad. like it's normal but it's not they did something weird they, they did something it. it's like it's like it's like you know how Martin Lawrence it's used to be full and robust. And then here are these black <laughs> They sterilizing, y'all. They dip it He's in the sterilizing like, juice after Ooh, and then they hand it, it to you. Yeah. Y'all sterilize. Oh, well, I, I don't love that you're throwing it that way. Uh, <laughs> y'all I sterilize. Guess, yeah, I don't, I, I, I love it like it's something you can see on us. <laughs> y'all Wait, turn to the left. I just, like, yeah. I just noticed. Oh, uh, damn. He's got, the hat. He's got some pink on it. I think it's in your sterilized. eyes, Corey. It's in your eyes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> So yeah. the the additional <laughs> information I'll throw your way is that you mentioned that Popeyes eventually buys Church's Chicken yes. uh, in 1989. I do that think there's ago. yeah, it's been yes. a while apparently that Popeyes had them, but they didn't actually turn this into like churches or Popeyes presents Church's Chicken until more yeah. recently. You know what I mean? Like they were sort of chill about the shit previously, like Jack in the Box and Hardee's. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. It's like that secret brotherhood you didn't know about until suddenly they were like, nope, that's ours. We do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that said, the part of the reason that they sort of rebranded the church's name, and I'm really curious to hear what y'all say about this, is because they felt that by calling it churches, it had too much of a connection to Christian beliefs, and that limited their potential on an international level. That like, oh, we can't sell this chicken as effectively in Guam or wherever the mm-hmm. fuck because we potentially are are making it too much of American sort of Christian values. I, I buy that. What? And that's a conspiracy theory? I mean, if I, yeah, because if I look into my own, I don't give a fuck. I'll eat every religion's food mm. all kosher halal i'll put it on the same plate i don't give a shit do you think that it's that you, like what is the place where is it like islamic states where they're like no we will not eat here's, this christian here's the hole in this about? the word church means church in english and there. I, I can't think of another language in which church means church so oh, then maybe so it's a name i would think it was a name if i was so wrong. for you're saying for for them it wouldn't matter also just not a fun name it's just not a fun name at the end of okay. the day church it's not like chicken it's not like bojangles that's bojangles that's... <laughs> a name is I fun as a chicken. chicken but i feel like it tastes better than church's chicken <laughs> I, I truly it's amazing when, when my wife first told me because i'm from i'm from chicago right like i i had no idea that that was even a thing and when my wife first told me that bojangles chicken was like i was like you coon ass what the fuck are you talking about That's you what love he said to his bojangles wife. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn you goddamn race traitor what are you talking <laughs> about you know that you eat it if bojangles. mr bojangles is back there frying that shit up i'm gonna eat it I'm be like, I'm free. Bro, oh, Bojangles tastes good at the airport. That shit is amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Never. Mind. I 
I've never had it, and part of it, I think, is just uh, Amber. The name. Have you had Bojangles name. chicken? No, but I'm okay, the opposite of it. you, where you hate <laughs> fried chicken. I'll eat mm-hmm. any piece of fried chicken. I don't give a fuck, and it's always fucking delicious. Chick- fried chicken is pizza. It's always great. It's great. Oh, who cares? One, one more Church time. Church is great. Let's stop there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> great. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's not. At the grocery mm-hmm. store, I've been sitting out all day. Great. I love it. Come on. Great. Come on. She does love Come some on. chicken. It's never bad. Amber, Six bucks for that four She loves juice. some chicken. Chicken nuggets? Don't care. Great. I love it. Boom. Yeah. Eat it up. Mm-hmm. I can't say I disagree. I'm rarely uh, eating eating chicken, fried chicken especially, and being like, this is, what the fuck? What is this? It's oh, like, nah. And then if you do, you finish it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was some bad. I hated that. Dry ass <laughs> chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like it fried, dyed, laid to the side. I like it all. Yep. Do everything. Yeah. Do everything yep. to it. Yep. And it's that, God's bird. That's what and, I'm saying. You got to hit that sous vide. Stop you gotta hit that sous that point. Point. I'm going to use it for that. I will. <laughs> that and salmon. To that point, I do think that makes me start to believe more in the possibility of this conspiracy theory. The fact that, that three out of four of us are <laughs> like, I will eat it. You're like, I ain't taking it fall on the ground. I don't care. I'll Y'all eat it in the house. Fools. I'll eat it with a mouse. You I'll eat it over <laughs> here. I'll eat it over there. I will eat it on the boat. I will eat it with a goat. <laughs> Y'all doing whatever. <laughs> and so Oh, yeah, if they put some fucking sterilization sprinkles in the roll chicken, the dice. You roll in the dice. we're no. going to fucking keep eating it. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. In my chicken's adventures, I might have caught a stray. I might have caught a stray <laughs> yeah. sterilization of all the places I've eaten chicken. That's a possibility. Yeah. They, and I do think that that you have to at least believe in the possibility that somebody did this at some point. And if you're willing to eat chicken from anywhere at any time, then somebody's That's getting true. sterilized. You know what I mean? It may but not also, have been a big Also, don't deny branch. yourself gas station chicken pleasures just because mm-hmm. you think you're not going to have a baby someday. <sighs> right. <laughs> you eating gas yeah. station chicken over there? Gas station? Is you eating gas station, station. Look me in the eyes and tell, Are you him, tell me? me so many times. Right. Yeah. The whole South is full of gas station. Ch- no, don't do that. Don't do that to gas station chicken. You're making it sound. The quality of gas has nothing to do gas, with the quality of the chicken. Gas station chicken, come out and fight me right now. I will fight you. <laughs> stop fighting your I'm food. scared you know. I like a good fight. Lacey, stop. <laughs> if gas station fight chicken it. was a person... Fight me right now. Come on out. If gas, station, if gas station chicken was a <laughs> person, that right man now. is undefeated in street fights. Yeah. That's true. Ga- mm, gas sorry. station chicken I'm never sorry. lost a fight ever. <laughs> <laughs> if gas station chicken was a person, that motherfucker does push ups on corners. Lacey Lace. Prison Jack, the rapper. I'd be like, gas. Start with a G. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Me right now, gas station chicken. That's the craziest. <laughs> you can't out rap me. Gas chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I can out rap you. You might be yeah, able to beat I my ass, say, but you can't out rap me though. Out rap me, gas station chicken. <laughs> then you might be like, oh, she might be able to. No, she I'm not gonna confident. lie. Gas station chicken probably also has bars. Oh, no, he sounds like he can do anything. <laughs> he sounds like he can do anything. Nobody support me. Gas yeah, station chicken ain't got nothing to do but yes. rap and fight. That's all he does. That's all. That's, that's all he does in there. This is what he does. He's like, bitch. This is what I do. You want to fight? This is what I do. This is this is all I have. You didn't oh. hear they call me gas station chicken. That's the name I earned out here. <laughs> My real name is Devante Spring. <laughs> <laughs> I was born with it. Uh, oh my god! Oh lord! Okay. Okay. So so <laughs> we don't we, we don't seem to believe that there's a, here's the, the other piece of that international threat that started to bug me a little bit at least is that it does seem like the need the want rather to go international to change the branding so that more people of different countries will accept the chicken feels like well maybe we're just aiming for brown and black nations to sterilize more effectively than we might be able to do in a quote unquote 
melting pot here's, of a country. Here's my other issue with this is I've never viewed the KKK as being as ambitious as all that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it tops they want all the That's black funny. people out of the south and the Midwest. I don't even think they're on the coasts like that. You right. know what I mean? Like I don't I don't feel like I don't feel like they would be willing to scale it up to an international plot. Yeah. No. They they don't have international ambitions. I don't think so. Interesting. Ladies, where are we? Where, where do how do you feel about the the K going international? I think they decidedly don't want an international anything. <laughs> they're they're yeah. quite American. Love. They they hate <laughs> not Americans. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's they only don't... a few countries they might there's only a few countries they want to fuck with, like maybe Germany. They, I don't see them yet. You're saying you're saying that they couldn't even effectively do business with the landowners of these foreign nations to be no. able to put the poisons no. in their communities. I think I, they're I the same people who in New York a million years ago were like, ew. Irishmen, Irish, like, right. yeah, they hate everybody. <laughs> they hate everybody. <laughs> everybody. That's yep. fair. Italian. Yeah, they don't have it in them to do it. It's too much work. Yeah, that's fair. It. And I do think to the earlier conversation, it feels like that's part of the reason why they're not the premier uh, white supremacy organization. Is like y'all don't focus. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like you gotta really, you gotta. Let's focus on one group and make that our brand. And they're like, man, I will fist fight anybody, anywhere, all the time. It's like, like, bro, I can't take you nowhere. Yeah. 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 Yeah, They're like lazy. I'm ready to fight. Stop fighting. They're they're ready to fight. (laughs) You're embarrassing me in front of my new friends. Stop fighting. They're my new friends because they're afraid. They're afraid of my new friends. Who are you choosing right now? Lacey, I'll admit, who you choosing? I'll, I'll admit right now I'm not as confident as I traditionally am. No. Lacey, I'm going to be Stop honest. The I, I need you to let go of my arm, Lacey. <laughs> Say it, Lacey. Say my name. It, it hurts and I'm scared. And, Lacey, uh, just choose That's it. all I want you to say. I'm never gonna as let long as you're go. scared that I know who you chose. You don't have to say it out loud. You're trying to be cool in front of your friends. Your friends are like, you let that black girl tell you what to do. He scared you guys. That's what I want. <laughs> I have so, to live like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love a cry for help. <laughs> Girl, shut up. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> told, you not to, told you when we came on this podcast, don't you say shit. Look at you. <laughs> so one of the things you mentioned earlier, Amber, that I, I think is is important is is worth noting is that it also doesn't seem in in sort of uh going against the conspiracy theory it doesn't seem like you need to put that much that many additions into regular fried chicken to make it effectively damaging to to people's bodies do you I, know what i mean I like i agree yeah Fried chicken's doing a lot of hard work on its own without yeah. any sterilization substances Real added to short it. Short road, right. yeah. Because <laughs> 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 like, there's a lot of ways you could be sterilized without being sterile. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's like the worst food for you. It really is once you find that out. And yes. that's <laughs> why it's Aww. so. I feel like big. we brought down the room. <laughs> Everybody. It wasn't Aww. you trying to fight gas station chicken. No, that was terrorist fun. tactics. That was I will fun. not live in fear. No, everybody. I will not live Aww. in fear. It's not good for you. <laughs> 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 to to bring the room down even more, one of the the specific side effects, or rather the list of the specific side effects that apparently come from consuming abundant amounts of fried chicken, is increased cholesterol. Well, now you're just gonna give us the end of soul food. That's yeah. What yeah. Like. <laughs> it turns out Big Mama doesn't get to keep those feet. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. Those are science's feet now. <laughs> Each one in a jar at a different university. <laughs> and yes, they're big ass oh. jars. In case you're... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Shout out to Irma P. Hall. You did yeah. your thing, baby girl. We're all real proud of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's Irma P. Oh. Come on now. We all know Irma. Oh, God. But, but okay. inc- cholesterol. increased cholesterol, weight gain, higher risk of type 2 diabetes, and mm-hmm. also just generally death is apparently a side effect associated with uh, consuming a large amount of fried chicken. Yeah. And you forgot one, the willingness oh, to oh. fight. Because y'all three <laughs> 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 Chicken took y'all, made y'all so wicked. The chicken did not take my spirit. I don't got it. The chicken did not take my spirit. Look at this. Oh, it has some energy. Y'all all full and tired from eating that chicken today. Aren't you going on hot Cheetos right now? (laughs) Come to me. That's not on the list. That's not on the list. Guys, this is extra funny because you don't know how small a human being race is. She's so fucking small, so it makes everything she's as extra funny. I got you. Yeah, she was she was hitting me. You said she was a bodybuilder. You said that That's you know the way she's been speaking to us. We assumed she was a solid six one. That's how I've been feeling this whole time. She's five Broad. foot one hundred pounds. Listen, I will punch the fuck out of your knee. Say something. <laughs> you try to walk with no knee? <laughs> Have you ever seen those videos where lions and giraffes fight? This It's giving me that vibe where it's like, yeah, you're going to be a rascal about it, but I'm going to kick the shit out of you eventually. Uh, it's yeah. like a scrappy dude situation. You'll be fine. I like it. You'll be fine. Okay. So there, there are all these side effects, but to your point about the chicken making you want to fight, they also point out that it does have the potential to to swing your moods, that apparently mm. fried chicken is a mood elevator uh, and is it can cause dangerous sort of reactions from consuming it. Dangerous? But it's dangerous. a mood elevator. You get so happy <laughs> that you no. get dangerous? Are you talking seriously like anger? I'm so happy about this chicken. I'm going to fight in the gas station. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so I really I think... should not start eating chicken. <laughs> no, I think. No, I don't think it's for you. I'm I, already I, there. I think, I, think it might, I think it might be too much for you. Yeah, I, I think, think so I think some people can't handle certain drugs, and it sounds like chicken ain't, ain't your, your shit, you know? Oh. That is a Mm-mm. crazy conspiracy theory I have heard, is that people who don't eat meat... That, that's how far away I am from the fucking concept. Couldn't even tell you the term of such a people. Um, yeah. But people <laughs> who don't eat meat. Um, don't eat meat because they, they so, so, some people have said that the anger that the animals endure to be bred, to be food, to be locked up, and that gets passed oh. along to you. Whoa. Some people also put clothes on their dogs. They're stupid. <laughs> I'm talking about energy. <laughs> that, this uh, is like a either. transference of the animal's rage. Yeah, almost that. like I a possession, it. almost. Yeah. I hate energy, people. I'm sorry. I'm so against it. People are like, and you know, he just had such good energy. And if you have good energy, good things will happen to you. You don't think slaves had good energy? <laughs> I hate, I always say that to people. If you have good energy, then stop. That, that's, that's not how this things is, work. Get you a know what I like? You know I what can't. I like about you is I can't tell if you're a villain or a hero. And I think that. <laughs> I am a I villain. That's it. And that's amazing. Not to I am me. a villain. Not to me. The chicken thing, I was out. But then you hated the energy. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I, can't. Energy, I will say. Energy. I can't. I cannot. When did that start? Please tell me when did the energy story start for black people. When? Oh, 2011. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a year. We got our energy. Black people got their energy in 2011. <laughs> that makes sense. Then I believe it. I love the idea of a dude in the slave quarters on a plantation right? being like, hey, y'all, if we, we got to fix our attitude. <laughs> right? And that will get us out of here. If everybody would just put their chin up, mm-hmm. then maybe Master <laughs> will, will fix this. And take three deep breaths. <laughs> <laughs> and we're free. <laughs> y'all we ain't positive. Right? Ooh, my back. Ooh, I miss my baby. Ooh, come on, nigga, let's work. (laughs) 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 I think of it like, let me like, 
I don't like the slave master's vibe. It's just yeah. his vibe yeah. is <laughs> wrong. Master, I can just feel it on him. Ugh. You know what? You know what master needs is some quartz. I think if he had a little quartz in his pocket, yeah. he would just chill out. I made him this necklace. <laughs> I'm gonna stage the master bedroom next time he's out. <laughs> I'm going to sage the master bedroom. She's going to sage it. You know why the master keep beating you? It's because of his diet. I think... I think if he had a little bit more kale in his diet... And stop eating them them mean chickens, (laughs) he'd be in a better mood. I put these crystals in my pocket. I haven't been beat since. (laughs) Now, if he find him, he going to say I stole his crystals and kill me. But, but he ain't got to find him, right, y'all? We have oh, no <laughs> Well, ladies, I I think we did it. I think I think this more or less covers the... the I think it covers the subject. If I were to uh, summarize it, it sounds like you're not at all bought in on the possibility that church is, is, no. is owned by the KKK or sterilizing Black men, but you are bought into the possibility that maybe we should stop or at least reduce our relationship with chicken for the sake of our own survival. Yes. I did not, not say that Not with chicken, part. with fried chicken. With fried <laughs> that woman chicken. in a corner. Fried. fried. It fried. does a lot of things, this bird. It's God's bird. <laughs> fried. Mm. Lacey is saying, yes, let's let's reduce. And Amber is saying, let's just... Uh... I'm saying, if there's a way I can get more chicken, please give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Church, can you hear me? <laughs> George Church. I'll take your trash chicken. It's, see, if you can hear me the from church. the celestial <laughs> plane, <laughs> speak to God and tell him, bestow more chicken upon my people. <laughs> Faithful servant. <laughs> I bow to you, my sweet lord. <laughs> Y'all, we going straight to hell. Straight yes. to hell. Yep. Uh, well, Amber, Lacey, could you tell the people where they could find you and what cool shit y'all have going on? Hey, everybody. We're Amber Ruffin and Lacey Lamar. You can enjoy our podcast called the Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show on Big Brother. <laughs> I heard and everywhere you find podcasts. No, you can enjoy our New York Times bestselling book called You'll Never Believe What Happened to Lacey. Everywhere also, is that their only book? But no, we got a new one. It's called The World Record Book of Racist Stories. It's again, Lacey and Amber sharing their favorite racist stories. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Who want to battle me? Anybody want to battle me? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Shit, I was about to start. You got a camera. That's crazy. <laughs> Good stuff. She was like, after all of that, I somehow am the, still the rapper in this story. <laughs> Even though I you beatbox. Guys, you guys, wait a minute. I don't think I've ever beatboxed in my life. No, I can tell. <laughs> you do. That is good. You did the, you did the phone call? <laughs> I was like, Hello? now's your chance. A lot of people are going to be able to hear you. You should try it out for the first time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Boy, you want to tell the people where they can find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me, Boom, cool guy. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't drop it. Don't stop now. You got to do everybody's drops. Oh, you, can find, <laughs> you can find me at Cool Guy Jokes eighty seven on Instagram. Uh, DC, I'm headlining the Improv June eighteenth with my man Jamel Johnson, and then I'm gearing up for a big tour in the fall. So those dates are coming soon. Yay. Watch Real Crackers on HBO. Oh, fuck okay. yeah. Yes. Uh, and you can follow me at Langston Kerman in June 23rd and 24th. I'll be in Utah July 6th through 8th. I'll, I'll be at the Punchline in Philly. And then July 28th and 29th, I'll be at Dead Crow in uh, in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, so come, come fuck around in person. And if you want to send us your own conspiracies, your own drops, if you want to accuse someone else of being a, a conglomerate of the cake, KK, please send all of that to mymamapod at gmail.com and subscribe on YouTube and watch that shit there. Do the do do your fucking job, do listeners. Your due diligence, goddammit. That's what right. the fuck oh. else do you got going we ask on? So little oh. of you. Guys, thank this is you how so we much talk for listening. I'm so sorry about my friends. Can you guys, you're doing a good job. We love you so much. <laughs> you're doing oh, a minimal no. job. 
You no, can do more. They, they mm. can do a lot more, and, they and we don't. We won't settle for their bullshit. They know no, we who won't. they are. Mm-mm. They know who they goddamn are. <laughs> <laughs> I like All right, this. I love it. it. <laughs> Bye, bitch.